Weissy gets a treat! So this is the video review for the Super Robot Chagokin Weiss Rita from Super Robot Wars Original Generation. And uh, if you're wondering, Weiss Rita means White Knight, although apparently it's a really bad uh, translation of German. I know a little German. I had German for one semester. I know how to say washing machine. Uh, to first to start off, I always get this question about certain toys. Is like, how big is this compared to you know other action figures? So here is a Super Robot Chagokin next to a common Revoltech, an SH figure arts of, of a black man. A sweet robot Damashi figure, and a figma of an anti alien battle robot for alternative lifestyles. So you can see it's definitely in that uh, same scale, more or less. Of course, being a Chagogan, it has a lot more metal. And of course, here's Weiss Ritter next to its partner in crime, the Altai Sen, also a Super Robot Wars Chagokin, or a Super Robot Chagokin. So you can see, they're about the same size. Um, you're probably going to notice, uh, the, the people who are really into Super Robot Wars, is that this Weiss Ritter is a lot slimmer in design. It's much more svelte than uh, the original artwork or in-game artwork. There's actually a couple of changes they made for this particular uh, toy, and I'll get into that. But um, comparing the two, Weiss Ritter is definitely a lot lighter. I mean, Altai Sen is really just a, a brick. He's got a lot more die cast, just because he's a lot bulkier. But, you know, very nice. They're very complimentary, and you can totally get your Rampage Ghost on with these two together. Okay, so let's just kind of go into some of the stuff here with Weissy. As you can see, obviously, it does come with the its signature Ox Tongue rifle, and Ox Tongue is named after a spear, because Excellon will tell you this every time you play the game. <laughs> I didn't really play much of Super Robot Wars OG 1. I, uh, I got like 20 missions in and then I realized I don't really like playing turn-based strategy games. But, you know, it's got, a, of course, hands for holding it. It does have an alternate hand for the other arm. It does have um, cupped hands. It's got fists. I mean, every robot comes with fists. And it's very easy to swap these out. They just pop off a little ball joint. Also comes with a pair of fists. Basically made for holding the beam saber. I mean, a uh, plasma cutter. It's a plasma cutter, not a beam saber. So, you know. And also it comes with, um, this is one of the things they redesigned, is that they kind of moved little gun barrels for the three-barreled gun more around the fist than they are, you know, sort of above the fist on the official artwork. And uh, because of this, they actually had to make it so that w there's this piece, it just has a little clip that goes on there, that has the beam guns retracted so that you can actually, you know, pose the, uh, the hand with the fist, and you kind of have to just push the fist right inside there, and it really can't hold anything or help stabilize the rifle or anything, you just, it's just kind of there for aesthetics, and you just pop this back on, and there you go, ready to do the, the cool beam attack, like in the game, you know, psh, 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 takes like 20 energy points. Um, and another thing that comes with it actually has alternate uh, head fins that are made out of flexible PVC plastic. The ones on by default are the harder ABS plastic. But they're kind of hard to put. It's kind of hard to pose the, the head around this uh, part of the backpack here, unfortunately, because of the, the way the fins just kind of interfere. I'm just going to stick. This back on. And um, I'll just kind of go over some of the posability. You know, it's got ball jointed shoulders. It's got kind of a double joint in the elbow, so you can, well, yeah. Uh, here's a bit of a problem, okay, you can, like, I'll, I'll show you it right now. There's a little double joint in the elbow right here, and, you know, it just plugs in. And it also actually collapses to hide the joint, and it also pulls out. It's very, very difficult to pull it out. 
it's kind of annoying, yeah. You can kind of just grab it by the sides and pull it out, but I think I'll just leave them out because I don't really care so much if it, that joint's exposed and it's just a pain to get it out. You know, but, oh, I put the wrong hand on there. Let's put the right hand on there. And of course, just how this is attached um, with that little clip, it does have a little bit of wrist flex, obviously ball jointed wrists. Uh, the waist is very, very nice on this toy. You can go all the way around, nothing is impeding it at all. It has completely fully jointed skirt armor. There's a little bit of, see that die cast joint right in there. You can bring the legs all the way up. Uh, fairly far out, pretty much all the way to the side. And it has the, the similar kind of extending joint in the, uh, the knees. You just kind of pull it and you get a little more flex there. The feet are really interesting because they actually will go like all over the place. You got fully posable toes and heels. And it's actually a little annoying because you know you have to kind of position these just right so that it'll stand up. And the whole uh, ankle it just has this crazy pull out joint here. You just kind of have to you can stick pull out and stick back in. And these move up and down. So you can definitely get some pretty cool poses with Lacey. Now, oh, and of course these fins fold up. Doesn't really have any problems like holding the rifle with, with both hands. Well, this rifle is a little bit big. A little, little bit heavy for the joints, but you know, it's not too bad. And of course it does have its signature Tesla Drive backpack with movable wings. These are a little thin, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about posing them. You know, it's kind of got, got the same kind of posable. I'm just going to call this like a, a binder, to use the Gundam term. And these actually do move a little bit too. It's a little weird, it feels like if I pull this too far it might actually break, so I'm not going to get too crazy with that. Yeah, overall, very, very nice looking figure, you know. Nice, bright, shiny white, very, very crisp paint applications. Um, I guess the only real problem with it is, again, if you don't like the changes they made to the Weiss Ritter design, just kind of slim it up, make it look more like a girl's robot. Yeah, definitely highly recommend it. You know, it is a, it's a little on the expensive side. It's, it's probably running about like 5,000 yen. But they are definitely worth it. Very high quality figures. Alright, so this has been Andrew for Collection DX. Showing you off the Super Robot Chagokin, Weiss Ritter.